Want the lowdown on the wardrobe slash closet essentials you need for summer? Girl, you're in the right place. Keep on watching. If we haven't met yet, hi, my name is Chi Chi, and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So in today's video, like the title says, I'm going to be covering the summer staples you need in your wardrobe. Plus, I'm going to be sharing ideas on how to style them. If you are a curvy girl, you're a thicker girl, then this is definitely an area that you probably struggle with, and that is with chafing. The first staple I want to talk about is going to be a pair of biker shorts. Now, biker shorts are super in right now. You can get a bunch of different colors for different styles, but I'm talking more about biker shorts that are made specifically to be worn underneath. So if if you deal with chafing or have dealt with ch chafing, you know how uncomfortable it can make you feel. You know, by the end of the day, it just ruins the mood, kills the vibe. You just can't wait to get home. Now, Jockey decided to capitalize on this need and they actually created a wicking slip short. So this short is gonna be a lot, very, very lightweight because of course it's the summer. And then it's also gonna be like anti-slip and it's moisture wicking, which means if you get sweaty in the neither regions, it'll help to kind of pull that moisture away from your skin. I'll put a link to it down below if you're interested in it. I just found out about it. I'm interested in it. Before I found out about the jockey slip short, my hack was actually to order some fishnet biker shorts. So I wanted something that was breathable because I found like the traditional biker shorts were just a little warm already in the heat and just caused me to, you know, perspire in the neither regions. And I did not want that. I didn't want all that extra moisture in that area. But this looks to be a great invention. Now, blazers are a closet stable all year round but I think during the spring and summer months a white blazer is just a must-have one because we know that white tends to keep us a little bit cooler and also because it pairs well with pastels that come out every spring and summer and it even pairs well with some of our more bolder colors I love how white blazers just chic up any outfit you pair them with. And it really doesn't have to be white. It can be a variation of white. So it could be cream, tan, ivory. This pair that I'm showing you here is actually thrifted from the men's section. And it's the best place to pick up blazers if you're gonna go thrifting. I love how boxy it is. And we're in luck because right now, you know, the whole boxy men's style blazer is very much on trend. I don't remember how much I got this for. So as you guys can see, I styled it up with a pair of high-waisted tailored shorts. You guys have already seen this outfit. I believe I had it in my spring styling video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it. But I just love throwing on a white blazer over a pair of jeans, over a pair of shorts. It just elevates the look instantly. So keeping on with jackets, I would say the denim jacket is also a must have for spring and summer. It's the opposite of a white blazer. It's something that you throw on to make it look a little bit more casual. Um, if you wanna tone an outfit down, maybe you don't wanna be seen as doing too much, then throw on a denim jacket. It's also perfect to pair with all of your summer, your spring and summer dresses. It's something is perfect to throw it into your tote. So when the temperatures dip in the evening, you can just pull it out. Now, all denim jackets are not created equal. There are different variations. You can do crop ones, you can do oversized ones. Right now, the more oversized ones are my current favorite, but there is a time and a place for a cropped one. You really have to look at the proportions. So I would generally pair an oversized jacket with something that's really girly to help kind of toughen it up a little bit. So if you're wearing something a little bit more voluminous on the bottom, then I would do a cropped denim jacket. If you're wearing something a little bit more fitted, then I would do a more oversized denim jacket. Now, continuing on with shorts, there's two other pair of shorts that are must-haves for the summer, and that's going to be the tailored shorts. So you definitely want the tailored short, which we briefly mentioned at the beginning when I was talking about the white blazer. If you like the whole, whole short suit vibe, uh, it's a good idea to have 
a couple of pairs of tailored shorts that you can mix and match with different blazers to create that look. There's just something very elevated, something very chic about a short suit, about a summer suit. They're perfect to wear to brunch. If you're going to like a fancy like brunch event, um, they're perfect to wear for a date. Um, if you're going to a fancier date and one big tip I'm going to give you. Okay. If you struggle with finding shorts, especially if you're a curvier girl, if you find a pair that you like, buy them in multiples, okay? In multiple colors if you can, but in more than one if you can. I have these shorts in black, in white, and in tan. I wasn't playing. I w girl, I wasn't playing. So if you love shorts, but you're not that comfortable showing your legs, this is definitely a trend that you can jump on to meant to be a little bit more elevated and a little bit more tasteful. And of course, we can't have summer without a pair of denim shorts. As a curvier girl, I tend to go for a longer length. The great thing about now is that Bermudas and just longer shorts in general are still in. Now, my favorite places to get shorts are um, Old Navy. Yes, Old Navy. Um, I also like ASOS. I feel like ASOS does a really great job at creating more trendier styles than maybe Old Navy does. Like you can definitely find a tailored short, you can definitely find a paper bag waist, you can definitely find a more like 90s distressed denim style on ASOS. And of course I will link a bunch down below, but those two places are great. The next closet essential you need, guess, just guess. Yes, guess in the comments right now, guess. Okay, if you guessed a white t-shirt, <gasps> You were right. Okay, so a white t-shirt is another must have, a good crew neck white t-shirt. And the reason why, why I'm being specific about the style, you can dress up a crew neck t-shirt and you can dress down a crew neck t-shirt. You can wear a crew neck t-shirt with a pencil skirt, with work slacks. You can also wear a crew neck t-shirt with shorts, cutoffs, slip skirts, you name it. The only group of people that I would, um, say are an exception to the crew neck would be um, my ladies who are very heavily endowed in the bosom area. So if you're really a busty girl, then a V-neck is probably your best bet just because um, a crew neck would shorten your neck and make your bosom look even bigger. However, unless you have like age cups, then I highly recommend a crew neck over a V-neck for you. You just get the most wear out of it. Also need a white button down. All year round, there's no exception, even in the summer. Now, all button downs are not created equal. I would opt for button downs that are more summer appropriate. So you want to look for natural fibers that tend to be a little bit more um, cooling during the summer. So linen, if you hate the creasing of linen, maybe silk. Um, just something that's very t tissue thin, lightweight. That's what you should look for. You could tie a knot and wear it with some shorts. You could tuck it in and wear it with a pencil skirt. Now continuing on with tops, the next item you need for spring and summer is going to be a cami. Like if you're, if you're like me and don't love showing your arms, camis can be a little tricky, but, but it is a good idea to have at least one in your wardrobe. Why? Because they're perfect for layering. And they're great to layer under blazers, under denim jackets. If you're having like an after hours thing, you know, buying one that has a little bit of a detail like this one, with the lace will be perfect to transition like a work outfit all you have to do is just take off your blazer or your jacket quick question i'm curious are you back to work yet or are you still working from home also i think everyone needs at least two types of camis in their wardrobes one is a more embellished cam perfect to wear as a going out top and then a very basic cami so could we have someone without a white dress no White dresses are a closet essential. And over the course of the last like four or five years, I have been trying to, you know, level up my white dress stash during the summertime. Right now, I think I have like three or four white dresses. I just got one in that was like under $20 from H&M. Yes, there's a, a mega H&M haul coming. If it's already live, I will link it for you down below. But you need a white dress. One, because white is cooling. And two, because there's something crisp about white during the summer. The next item I wanna talk about goes hand in hand with a cami, and that is a strapless bra. I feel like all the time when I see these essentials, nobody ever actually talks about these little pieces that you, foundational pieces that you kind of need in order to create the right look. 
And a strapless bra to me is a must have, especially if you're wearing any um, spaghetti strap, summer dresses, camis, and shoulder tops. These are all things that we tend to gravitate towards during the summertime. Now I wear a triple D and I know that strapless bras can be really difficult when you have a larger bust size. So one of the places that I go to find strapless bra, actually the only place that I buy strapless bras from is Lane Bryant. So I always get a lot of questions about like what bra I wore with this and it's Lane Bryant. I will put a link to their strapless bra section down below. All right, let's talk bottom. But during the summer, I try to gravitate towards lightweight or lighter wash jeans. And then I also like a good distressed jean. It creates, you know, some, some avenues for air to circulate. This pair that I have on right here, I've had for a couple of months now. Every time I wear it, I get questions about it. It is the 90s style jean at American Eagle. Now, this exact style is no longer available, but they do have other options that are similar. Um, another great place that I like to look for jeans are if you, on the higher end side is Good American. They have a good selection of lightweight jeans, lightweight jeans that are distressed, white bottoms are to me a must have for summer. They just exude that, you know, I'm on vacation, kind of like resort chic vibe. You could do a pair of white linen pants, but just white bottoms in general to me are a must have for summer. One, because they're cooling, so they're practical, but two, because they're a nice escape from your typical denim. Now, the places that I've looked, H&M, I like H&M because they tend to make white jeans that are slightly off-white, which is what I recommend for my darker skin girls. And um, another place that I've heard people talk about is Good American as well. They've said that they make really good white jeans because every pair of jeans I've ever gotten from Good American has been flattering. If they don't do anything else, okay, they know how to flatter a woman's figure. I did, however, pick up a pair of white um, linen pants, which I showcased in my Insecure Inspired Lookbook. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to that down below. But yeah, finding the perfect pair of white pants is a struggle. But I do like these pants that I got from Target. So the next item, <laughs> yes. Yes, you probably have seen me share this item at least in probably in every video that I've posted in the last eight months. Comment down below if you can guess what it is. It is a slip skirt or slip dress. You don't have to do a slip skirt. You could do a slip dress if you prefer. I did a whole video on how to style slip skirts. I believe I shared how to style it in the winter and in the summer. So you can check that video out. You can also check out like most of my videos. <laughs> if you want like tips on how to style a slip skirt, if you have like a, a, a tummy, how to make it a little bit more flattering, then definitely check out those videos. But I will put links to some of my favorite slip skirts down below. Um, I just got a slip dress in that I can't wait to share with you guys in my collective haul video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if it's already linked, if it's already live, I will put it for you down below. But yeah, a slip skirt is like a must have to me. It's lightweight, it's airy, it's breezy. Um, you know, you can get some circulation, but it's also very sexy, perfect for date night, perfect for brunch. You can wear, dress it up with some sandals. You can dress it out with some flats. So I have one more bonus item for you, and that is going to be the lightweight jacket. So you can make that a kimono, you can make that a duster, shoot, you can make that a white shirt, but you definitely need like something that you can throw over. If you remember when I was talking about the denim jacket, I was talking about how temperatures change sometimes from day to night, and it's not every occasion that you really want to wear a um, denim jacket. Sometimes you want to be a little bit more dressy. Sometimes you still want to be more casual, but you just don't want to wear a denim jacket. That's where a duster or kimono or like a linen jacket comes in. So this video is going to be, I would say, part one of my summer style series. I'm thinking of doing two additional videos. 
You notice I didn't talk about accessories at all in this video. So if you think that's a great idea and you would like for me to continue this summer style series, then make sure you hit that like button and also drop a comment. Did you know that you could actually save this video? So if you liked this video, if you found it useful, all you have to do is I believe hit the plus sign and create a playlist and then you can save this video and reference it any time you want. I'm really hopeful that you enjoyed the video and you found the content useful. And if you don't wanna miss any of the videos in the series, all you have to do is subscribe now. For those of you who are already subscribed, make sure to hit that notification button so you know when I upload another video. And um, share the video, pay it forward, um, especially if you found it useful. When I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram. Links to all of my social are down below. So this list is definitely not exhaustive and would differ depending on your shape, your frame, your lifestyle, even your personal style. So let me know, um, am I missing something? Is there something you would add. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video. And for more styling tips and outfit ideas, check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Wait, 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 don't go. I'm gonna be in the comments below.